In today's video, we're gonna learn how to take the sari that you prepped, pleated, and ironed in part one. We're gonna learn how to drape it. So if you haven't already checked out part one, I'll link it below, check that out so that you can get your sari looking like this, and then we can start to drape. Before you even begin draping, make sure that you have the right undergarment. I'm wearing the sari silhouette from tiabiba.com and I'm completely biased, but the importance of a petticoat is especially significant when you are draping a silk sari. These saris are heavy, um, they are thick, and you wanna ensure that you are wearing an undergarment that is holding together all of these layers of this gorgeous fabric and that you're able to be comfortable and move around you wanna ensure that your petticoat is breathable, stretchy, and comfortable. Also, you wanna ensure that the waist has an elastic and a drawstring that is not made out of anything but cotton. Cotton is very important, especially for the drawstring because it's going to hold together and it's going to ensure that you feel secure when wearing the sari. All right, let's start the drape. So you're going to take the sari and you're gonna to get to the non-fancy end, the opposite end of the palu. I always recommend wearing your footwear, that way when you go to tuck in, you're tucking in at the right spot. You wanna ensure that you're not letting it trail, you're not doing it too high up. You wanna let, lightly graze the floor, and then you wanna tuck in. Because they're so wide, you wanna ensure that you're tucking it in nice and flat so that there's no bulges. This is super important, especially with these types of saris where it's extra wide. And again, you wanna continue that as you tuck in around your body. Less important at the back, super important at the front. All right, so once you get back to the front, you wanna take the palu and the safety pin that you input in part one you wanna bring that around and lay it on your left shoulder. And then you wanna bring the sari, that part of the sari that's closest to you around your body. And I'm just going to tuck it in right here to hold the spot. And then I'm going to do pleats. Now, for this drape, I've taken super thin pleats for the palu pleats, so I'm going to do the same here. I wanna make sure that the pleats are narrow. So because the palu pleats are pretty narrow and I've taken very thin palu pleats, I wanna mimic that in my front pleats. So I'm gonna take super thin front pleats as well. I want the pleats to match my palu pleats. The method I'm using, I learned from my mom and I have a dedicated video on that. I will link it here. I love this method because it allows you to use your whole hand instead of just your fingers, which I feel like gives you more control. Once you have all of your pleats, you wanna stagger them. And you don't want them stacked on top of each other because that's not gonna give you that flared look, the hourglass look that we all love in a sari. And you wanna just stagger them like that so it, it nicely flares at the bottom. Shake it out. And then once you're happy with them, you wanna pin them down. I'm actually gonna pin them down all the way to my sari silhouette. And this way, even if I was to step on the sari, it's not gonna come undone. I'm gonna feel really comfortable and nothing is gonna move. And be really careful because you are taking the pin right to your sari silhouette. All right, before I even tuck in the pleats, I'm actually gonna do the hip pleats. So here's a little pocket that we've formed here. You're gonna put your hand in through there and then grab this extra loose sari bit fabric that you have and pull it tight. And then as you see, as you pull it, like as I'm pulling it here, it's creating the hip pleats that we all love. And it really just sculpts your body and makes it look that much neater and nicer. And then I'm just gonna tuck it in here. And then I'm going to take the pleats and tuck that in as well. Okay, any extra fabric that you have here, you wanna just lay it flat, flat against your body and then fold forward and tuck that in as well. Especially with saris like this, once you're done the drape, you might feel like it's a little puffy here. All you have to do is kind of just like pull the sari down and it tightens everything. Um, you definitely want to add a safety pin here and that's it. 
I hope you found that useful. I cannot stress how important it is to take the time to pleat and prep and iron your sari, especially with saris like this one, where it's thicker, it's puffier, it's harder to manage. So if you're trying to do all of this on the morning of your event or a couple of hours before you have to be somewhere, you're gonna be stressed. So take the time to do all of the steps in part one and then save this video for the morning of your event. I'd love to know how these videos helped you. If you have any other pain points or other videos that you'd like to see, leave them in the comment box below and I will see you in a future video.